also working developing news on the murder investigations involving Aaron Hernandez. The former football star appeared in court again today. This afternoon's hearing focused mainly on the records the Patriots have on him. After it was over, Hernandez was transferred to a new jail. New at 6, we're hearing from the sheriff about that move. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live outside Fall River District Court. Shannon, the Suffolk County uh, Sheriff says Aaron Hernandez won't get any special treatment, but his new cell will be much closer to his Boston-based attorneys. Aaron Hernandez has a new jail cell in Boston, and the Suffolk County Sheriff says the former Patriot star turned accused killer will be treated just like any other inmate. The transfer from the Bristol County House of Correction to the Suffolk County Jail was approved at a hearing Monday. Hernandez was in court again today on a separate issue where we learned the Patriots have agreed to hand over 317 pages worth of Hernandez's medical and personnel records from his time on the team. But his scouting and combine reports are another story. We're talking about what is relevant being June 2013, the night of the murder. These scouting reports contain those blurbs that the court mentioned as to 2009 and 2010, three and four years before the, uh, the murder of Odin Lloyd. Hernandez's attorney simply disagrees. So this psychological assessment, and there's no question that it's a psychological assessment, there's no question that it has value. We're looking for solid evidence about our client that we are entitled to receive given the nature of the charges that have been brought against him. The judge scheduled another hearing on the issue for July 22nd. The Patriots attorney says before the medical and personnel records are handed over to Hernandez's defense team, they need an updated signed release from Aaron Hernandez. Live in Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.